today this is going to be a short one so after i made a video about how it feels to be a new youtuber and i created this short where i was picking out things from my bag in my purse and the camera was still capturing my full face i don't know exactly what it's called but i call it the hidden camera short okay so i'm going to show how you're going to do that with just your smartphone because that is all i used let's get into it so this right here is the purse I used for the video where I captured myself getting things out from my bag while still showing my face. Okay, so first off, I have to get the things out from my purse to make space for the phone. So this, get these things out, right? Uh, there you go. And the bag is almost empty. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put my phone inside my bag with the camera positions very well to capture my face. While I made the other video, I used the front camera feature because it allows me to see whether my face is centered, whether I'm still capturing, whether whether I'm still capturing the video well, whether I'm still capturing my full face, if I can still capture myself, things like that. So I'm just going to turn to the front of the camera and then continue with the capture. So this is me and this is the front camera. So I'm going to place my phone gently inside the bag like this. Right. So we are inside the bag right now. We are inside the bag. We can see ourselves right inside the bag. Now I'm going to slowly place back all the things I need to get out. Just place it in such a way that it doesn't cover the camera so that you can still see yourself the camera can still capture your face while you are bringing these things out and you press them in gently this is for people using their smartphone okay i can still see my face place those things gently inside and make sure that it doesn't you don't place it in a way that it's going to click on something and then stop the video that would be that would be not nice that one that won't be nice so we gently put everything inside put your stocks inside and then you close the bag once your bag is closed then you can slowly open it this is where you're going to start capturing your video you're going to edit the other part where you place the camera inside and where you place those things on top of the camera now i'm going to slowly bring out these things and you're going to see my face once most of the things are out it's as if there's a hidden camera inside the bag capturing you when you are bringing these things out it's not rocket science it's actually easy and this is me you can see my face right here and i get all these things out and here i am it's as if i'm capturing this as if there's a camera inside my bag as i'm bringing out these things so we're out and then once we are out we're done that is how to do this. Once you get everything out, then you close your bag. You are telling your audience that you've taken the things you want to take out from the bag and it's time to move on to the next shot. So you close the bag. And that is that. <laughs> okay. I did two shots for my own. For that video, I did two shots. First is when I was bringing the things out of the bag. And second is when I was placing the things I brought from the bag out on the floor. Like, I, I, I did a shot inside when I'm bringing it out. I did another shot, another shot when I was keeping the things. Like, I was bringing out, there's a, there's a camera here watching me, capturing me when I'm dropping these things on the floor. So how I did this is that I put, I, I paused the video. I put down every, I put back everything I got out from the bag. Then place the camera on the floor and let it capture me when I'm just bringing the things out. It's as if I can see myself bringing these things out and I can also see myself dropping it. The audience can see me bringing this out from the bag. They can also see me dropping it on the floor. Okay, so that is that. Let's do that part. Let me show you how. Now I'm the bag and that is us. So I'm going to drop it on the floor. Let's say this is the exact point where I want to be dropping the things I'm getting out from the bag. So I've just put everything back. Now the bag opens here. When I'm editing this video, I'm going to show where the bag opened. 
and I'm going to show myself taking out the first thing from my bag. Now, once I lift it up and I'm, and I'm trying to drop it, I'm going to cut that part and then bring a, a clip from this particular one I'm, I'm capturing now. Bring a clip when I'm dropping this thing on the floor and, I will, and I'll be dropping on top of the camera. It's as if the camera is capturing me picking it from the back, it's also capturing me dropping it on the floor. It's as if I have two cameras, but I only have one because I did the shot two times, I did the shot twice. So I'm going to bring out everything and I'm dropping it. So I'm going to, I'm going, it's going to be a little bit of a tricky editing. It's going to be, it's going to take more time because you, you bring, you take a clip where you are bringing it out. You cut another clip where you, are clip, where you are keeping it on the floor and then you join them together. So your audience is seeing you bringing it out, dropping it, bringing it out, dropping it. Okay. It is very simple, but it just takes a little time other than just you show yourself bring it out. Okay. And it just kind of makes your video more cinematic gives it more interesting kind of vibe and just that's it okay simple so that is how i was able to do that part that part where i showed myself bringing things out from my bag and then dropping it on the floor in the video i made previously so i hope you understand how it's done now so go ahead and use it for your own video okay i'm still learning most many of the things that i can do with my phone with just my smartphone now i don't now that i don't have a professional camera i'm learning the different trees different strategies the different ways i can use my for my smartphone my small smartphone samsung smartphone to make my video more cinematic to make it more entertaining to make my vlog more entertaining okay and this is just one of them I'll be sharing more of them as we go on so if you have any other shots that you've seen me do that you want me to explain how i was able to get that let me know in the comment section and of course i'll make a tutorial video to show you how it's done see you in my next video